At this year's SciFest, it's all about the environment. Here at Olive Schreiner Hall, Professor Yolanda Roo expresses the importance of decreasing deforestation and maintaining healthy trees for a healthy society. It is calculated that still today at least 30,000 hectares of forests disappear and a similar amount is degraded daily. Professor Roo gives an extreme case of how deforestation impacts on society. Originally Easter Island was covered in forests. Um, but as the, the population on Easter Island grew um, and people needed more and more trees to build houses, they indiscriminately cut down trees to make place for planting other agricultural crops and the trees disappeared. Uh, that led to erosion in the rain because no more trees to bind the soil. Eventually they had no more trees to build houses. They had no more trees to build their boats. And Thus their agriculture started failing, they couldn't go fishing as efficiently anymore, and the population started starving, and eventually that population turned to cannibalism. While this example doesn't pertain to our current situation in South Africa, it illustrates the crucial need for botanical conservation on a global scale. But there are also other threats to tree health and the continued survival of trees. Uh, and two of these, which after us as human beings are very important, are pests and pathogens. It's critical that we try to reduce the movement of pests and pathogens around the world as much as is possible without um, impacting negatively on, on society and on trade relations. But the question remains, in which ways are trees threatened by human activities? And there's many different ways from our daily activities, whether it's farming or um, construction, um, mining, but then there's also the fact that we are moving things around the world, so we're moving plants and plant products around the world, and with this we're also moving fungi, bacteria, viruses and insects around the world. Lay people can help to prevent new diseases um, and reduce the, the spread of pests and pathogens by when you're traveling abroad, you know, to try not to move um, plant material around. Think twice about bringing seeds and flowers and things back into South Africa. Be kind to trees and not, not hurt them. Um, you can also, if you see someone cutting down trees unnecessary, you can talk to them and try to stop them from doing it or at least ask them not to do it. Um, many things like that. Plant a tree whenever possible. Encourage your, your towns, your schools, whatever, to plant trees. Ha, ha, ha.